Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode from Network From Home. Today, we're going to be talking about different types of modems. And what you'll find is that there are three main types of modems that you'll see today. You'll see DSL modems, you'll see cable modems, and lastly, you'll see fiber, mo fiber modems. In this episode, we'll talk about each of these three different types of modems and we'll explain how you can identify what type of modem you have in your network. So let's dive into it. Let's see what the three different types of modems are. Okay, the first modem we're going to be talking about is DSL modems or digital subscriber line. I have with me here a phone cable and you might be asking why that is. The reason for that is DSL modems use phone cables and phone lines to access the internet. With these phone lines, I'm sure if, if you're old enough, you've probably seen dial-up modems use the same thing. They use the existing phone lines to access the internet. You won't find dial-up modems in service today just because of the slow internet speeds that they provided. DSL modems, on the other hand, the best plans can probably provide you around 100 megabits per second today. And the key is using those phone cables. So let's keep that in mind as we look at the next two types of modems here. All right, the next type of modem we're talking about today, cable modems. I have here with me a coaxial cable. I bet you can guess why that is. That's because cable modems use coaxial cables to connect to the internet. The reason they're called cable modems in the first place is due to the fact that you use the same cables, the same infrastructure that you use for your cable television. I also have a cable modem here for reference. The coaxial cable here goes right into the back of the device. Here is the coaxial cable connection. That's how the modem connects to the internet. And what's important to keep in mind, cable modems, they can provide faster internet than DSL, speeds in excess of 500 megabits per second currently, which is pretty fast. So if you're comparing DSL modems that use phone cables, cable modems use coaxial cables, and now let's dive into the last type of modem you'll see today. Okay, the last type of modem we want to talk about today is a fiber optic modem. And when compared to the first two types of modems that we talked about, DSL modems and cable modems, fiber optic modems are different in the sense that rather than using electricity to transfer data, they use pulses of light. And as a result, they are a lot faster. The fiber optic internet plans are faster and as a result, fiber optic modems can support much faster internet speeds. So I don't have anything to show you today when it comes to fiber optic modems because I don't have one. But in addition to that, the fiber optic modems themselves are usually installed by your internet service provider. And they'll install usually what you'll see, it's called a ONT device, I believe, optical network terminal. And that is essentially just a fancy word for a fiber optic modem. So what we're talking about here, fiber optic modems, they can support speeds up to one gigabit per second currently, much faster than cable modems and also DSL modems. You can find them online if you want to buy them, but they're few and far between because of the fact that internet service providers usually install them. And those cables, fiber optic cables, are different than anything that we've looked at. It looks similar to, it looks maybe similar to a phone cable. It has a little attachment at the end of it, but it's transferring light. It's actually a very thin piece of glass where light is being transferred through. 
So there you have it. Those are the three different types of modems. Next, we'll talk about how to tell which type of modem you have in your home network. Okay, so we've covered our three different types of cables. How do we tell them apart? The easiest things to do, there are a couple different things you can do. Let me bring my cable modem into the picture here. On the bottom of my cable modem, there's a sticker and it will usually say, if you look closely enough, right up here. Can you see that? Let's see, it says cable modem. You might have to take my word for it. It says cable modem. The sticker on your modem will more often than not identify what type it is. But if you're still not sure, the next thing to do is look at what is connecting that device to the internet. Again, with my cable modem, you'll have a coaxial cable. So this coaxial cable will connect to the back of the modem. For a DSL modem, you have a telephone cable going into the back of it. There'll be a connection for a telephone cable. And with a fiber optic modem, you'll have a fiber cable going into the modem. It's usually labeled maybe SFP or fiber something like that. But that's a backup way. If, if you can't look at the sticker or potentially even the owner's manual of your modem, that will always tell you what type of modem it is. But if you want a quick and easy way, just look at the back and see how it's connected to the rest of the internet. All right, that just about does it for this episode from Network From Home. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop a comment below. I will also link to a blog post down below that goes along with what I'm talking about today in a little more depth. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next episode.